Now we've got to the stage where we've got our Arduino shield with all the components attached and we need to actually get the GRBL software onto the Arduino itself. So this is for the version 4 version of the actual um, shield itself within Nano Arduino uh, because there is some CPU mapping that we have to change in there because of the design flaws of the actual board itself. So if you jump to this address and what we'll do is we scroll down to the actual source code and if you click on this to download the source code it will actually download a zip file and we can go to that zip file and extract it and actually copy the grbl file folder from here into documents Arduino libraries okay just drop that in there so what will happen the next time we load up the Arduino IDE you should see on the examples drop down a another option for JBL. and there it is just there so we can load that in here but before we do that we need to make an amendment so if we jump into the documents grbl and what we're looking for is the cpu map so right click on that and edit it in notepad and if we scroll down we can see these mappings here now these have to be swapped because they are actually uh, incorrectly set on the actual design layout on the Arduino shield itself. So the, the pins have been swapped around. So this should be 5, 6, 7. And these should be 2, 3, 4. So that's the X step bit, X step, uh, Y step bit and the Z step bit, and the X direction bit, Y direction bit, and Z direction bit. So we just need to reverse those to what they uh, are currently. And that should be enough to actually get us up and running. Remember to save it. And then we jump back to our IDE. So if we go to File, and examples and scroll down to the bottom you should see the Gerbil and then Gerbil upload option there so we need to select the port which might already be selected got to make sure the correct Arduino board has been selected so the Nano and also we need to select the processor so if the AT Mega 32 AP doesn't work then try the old bootloader. So I'm going to try this one first. And then I'm just going to push it to the actual Arduino. So you can see down here is compiling the sketch. A number of uh, messages will appear, but don't worry about those because that's just compiling the message. We just have to worry if an error comes up down here. So as you can see, we've got a problem there. An error occurred while uploading the sketch. So I'm just going to change the chip and change the processor to old bootloader and this should work. So again it's compiling the sketch, we get a number of messages coming up down the bottom but none of them have actually errored yet. Again we've got the low memory available here, the same message as before, we don't have to worry about that again. and it's succeeded and uploading. So we're now ready to actually use the Arduino in our CNC shield.